So now it is that your girl's recording. <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's jump into this next damn reaction, shall we? Now, cool uno underscore nine. Shout outs to you. That time, Deadpool and Wolverine brand fades across the multiverse. <laughs> Jedi was waiting for this one. And may I add, it is spoilers ahead if you have not seen the movie yet. I'm just saying. So without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's get into this video, y'all. Do you know how long I've been waiting for this? It's finally time to do Deadpool and Wolverine. Let's get it. So my man Wade Wilson is in Logan's universe at Big Bro's burial site. And he's over here trying to dig up Logan because he's like, ain't no way you died, bro. You're immortal. We twinsies for real. I need this biggest of bros. They finna boom my universe and my shorty don't love me no more. I need a show where I can save the universe so I can stand on something. I mean, look at me, dawg. It looked like I got thrown in a wood chipper when I was born. I don't even know Damn. how I got Vanessa to stay on my ass this long. So Wade starts digging up Logan's corpse. And to nobody's surprise, brother is cooked. I mean, but bro is dripped out, bro. Iced out skeleton is crazy, man. Who was messing with Wolverine in the drip department? Because nobody else is doing it like Hey, listen, shout outs to William Defoe. Because he was dripped out in this scene too. Hey, you know? Him for real. But while Wade's chopping it up with dead ass Logan, the TVA pull up on his ass. And they over here getting ready to put the pots and pans to the dog. They over here telling bro to drop his weapons. But Wade's like, hold on. I'm not going to drop my weapons. But I'm not going to use them hoes either. As his ass flips over this tree with Logan's dead ass body. And he's getting ready to beat the goofy out of these boys with another nigga's dead ass body. Yeah. And I don't got to say it, bro. Y'all have already seen this movie already. But this probably... Top five greatest movie intros of all time. I can't I play say. any of the actual audio or YouTube's gonna break my kneecaps. But that boy so Deadpool Riz. was jigging. But my man Deadpool starts breaking off Wolverine's rib cage and he starts throwing these holes at the TVA agents. And I'm not gonna lie, if I just saw my homie get boomed in the head with an adamantium rib cage piece, I'm giving up right there and be like, hey, you know what, Deadpool? You got it, big dog. My fault. I don't even know what we thought we was gonna accomplish here. But it didn't stop with just one because Deadpool is piecing these boys up. And look at what he did to bro right here. He cooked his friend, parried the staff, went behind him to stab him in the side of the head, but he wasn't finished because he kicked the bone through to the other side of dog's head. You got too much sauce, bro. If y'all didn't give up before, y'all should have gave up with that alone. Then yeah. Wade starts using Logan's skull and spine like a ball and chain, just straight giving these boys CTE. Like, mm -hmm. really thinking about it, if we really deep it, is this not crazy? And then dogs start doing a dance routine on the Ops' graves? I know TVA agent number 47 is looking at this in bewilderment. Like, ain't no way bro just killed my nigga Tom and he just started emoting on his grave. It's right. not like this is some ass dance or anything. <laughs> this nigga is hitting that hoe. Not only that, but he's smacking niggas on beat to the song using their own weapons against them. Listen, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this adamantium got buffed. Cause ain't no way he threw that big ass bone like that and it went through bro's chest like a bullet. He did not throw that hole fast enough for it to do that much damage. I mean, do you not know how strong Animantium is, gang? She, 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 you know? Big Wade Wilson is using all 260 plus of Wolverine's bones to cook every TVA agent he can. And oh, nah, he just killed these niggas with fingers. And I'm not gonna lie, you can do a lot of things to me, but I refuse to get done it by a pinky finger dog. At that point, we just gonna have to scrap actor to actor because this is crazy. But we end this segment off kind of with Wade getting circled around by a bunch of TVA guards and he is just going through town with these makeshift nunchucks cooking everybody in sight <laughs> until his ass makes some scuff. Bro, this damn cut, bro. This cut is so bad. Wolverine claws. He detracts them hoes. And before we can see bro cook, we get thrown into a flashback. And in this flashback, we see Wade talking to Happy, trying to join the Avengers. He also talks about Hulk masturbating. My friend said that he wanted Hello. to try this out. And I'm not gonna lie, I ain't talking to bro since. But Happy basically tells Yeah, this cut is terrible. This cut is terrible. What makes it worse is this little... I don't, I don't know what this is at this point. I, I, don't, I don't know what this is. The, the, the hair... Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. Wait, that he's washed a bum and that he should get his useless ass up out of his office because he ain't never going to amount to nothing in life. So now Wade goes back to his boring ass life of being a cars salesman and 
oh nah this damn wig is crazy and the wig bro put it on no stocking cap no wig glue nah i'm just stapling this bitch to my forehead this is crazy bro then clocks off at work and him and pete ride bikes back to way's apartment because it's his birthday but hold on a second man really thinking about it bro this man wade basically saved the world last movie and his ass still got a clock in for a nine to five like that's insane if i save the world man that working shit is over for me i'm never doing Sorry, that thing again but bro, I promise you're you. actively working a nine to five. Yeah, nah, I'd boom myself. He was not getting that time out of me. I'm sorry. But as soon as Wade walks into his apartment, he gets thrown a surprise birthday party. He got all of the homies there, man. Vanessa, Kitty, Pride, Cyclops. But I just gotta talk about it, man. Vanessa and Wade done broken up, and now Vanessa's over here talking to other people, man. Who done let the Spider-Man comic book writers in the booth, man? This is crazy. Why you Damn. doing this to my goat for real? Damn. But my man was finna blow out his candles. He gotta knock on the door. He goes and it's the TVA. Once he opened the door to four niggas, we already knew what time away was on. He was trying to have a freak off, but the TVA wasn't having none of it. Ripped that nigga wig off and pushed his ass through a portal. But when Wade wakes up, he's in front of Paradox. And Paradox is over here giving Wade his purpose. His reason to matter that he's been looking for for so long. Paradox tells Wade that his universe is in danger. And the sacred timeline's in danger too. So we gonna need you to save that hoe. They take Wade to get tailored for his new suit. And Wade is over here getting assaulted by Jack Black's skinnier cousin, man. Lock this nigga up. Up now because why did bro smack his ass so many times dog you are a criminal you don't need to be free on the streets anywhere bro so once Wade walks out of the assault room he's over here thinking that once he saves the sacred timeline he'll be able to go back to his timeline all hunky dory like but paradox is like nah that bitch finna explode because your <laughs> anchor being wolverine died like 14 years ago man but Wade really don't appreciate that so you know what dog does he smacks the portal remote out of paradox's head and headbutts the piss out of dog and once he goes through that portal we go back to the beginning of the movie where he had the wolverine claws and oh baby this nigga deadpool starts piecing these boys up He's cutting himself too because he don't really know how these claws work. But bro didn't stab this nigga in the balls. Hit him with this goddamn suplex. Stabbed another nigga in the balls and then just started going back and forth on these boys like a damn seesaw. But bro gets interrupted from the violation of these two TVA agents. An old dude over here starts calling Deadpool all types of names, saying Logan was the only thing worth a damn to come out of Canada. So Deadpool takes Wolverine's claws out of these two boys' rectums, takes his katana out, and goddamn ricochets that hole in his mouth. Damn, and now we get a yeah. montage of Deadpool looking for Wolverines so he can replace them for their anchor being and save his universe. Yeah, and we bro. see all types of Logans, man. We see Short Logan. We see Weapon Omega Wolverine. We see Patch. We see goddamn Henry Cavill Wolverine. Old Man Logan. We see Uncanny X-Men Wolverine. And then we see Classic Brown Suit Wolverine versus Hulk. Oh, yeah, these niggas was in their bag making this. But Logan decided... Don't remind me about that green leafy man i know how it is that i feel about the mr unincredible hulk because none of these niggas are going to be the anchor being because they either a beat his ass or they're too preoccupied with somebody else beating their ass until way gets punched through another dimension and this time this is the right wolverine but this nigga is drunk out of his mind so he strips a little bro of his clothes and takes him back to the tva so once deadpool and wolverine get to the tva Paradox is like, oh, no, nah, you silly ass goose, man. You can't replace an anchor being you dummy. And then Paradox prunes Deadpool and Wolverine before Deadpool can tell on Paradox because he is going off the books like crazy. They get dropped off in the wasteland and ooh, baby, we all know what happens here. Deadpool late the hell out on the ground, but Wolverine's yellow dusty ass walks over him, picks his ass up with his claws and starts interrogating, bro. And I don't know when Wolverine peeped that Deadpool did this to the other TVA agents, but he got his get back and stabbed this nigga in the balls and cracked his spine over his knee. But Deadpool like, ain't no way the nigga let his whole universe go to shit talking to me like that. And just like that, Dems is fighting words. The squabbles commence as Wolverine stabs Deadpool in the back and starts hoisting his ass up wow. over him. But Deadpool flips out of that and drops him and Wolverine down to the ground. Pulls out the blicks and just starts mad dumping in his nigga's ribcage. He tells little bro, have you calmed down now? But Wolverine just had but the piss out of Deadpool. Scooped his ass up and threw his ass through a damn wall. The girls Deadpool were fighting. Deadpool gets up and these boys just start staring each other. The girls were fighting. They were fighting. <laughs> damn. But we pan over to Wolverine. He's pushing the bullets out of his goddamn body as he's regenerating. Then he just starts smoking on one. Why is Wolverine the coolest nigga all time? 
Deadpool and Wolverine ready their asses up for the upcoming fade. And look at the way this cool ass nigga Deadpool reloaded his gun. And he just kept busting shots at Wolverine. I ain't gonna lie. This was, this, hey, hey. I ain't gonna lie. This was fire as hell. Oh my God, see this in the theater. It's just like, all right, this was kind of clean. I get it. Look at the way this goofy ass nigga is running at that. He's over here dodging his shots, but he cuts little bro's guns in half already. Frame one. Deadpool then pulls out his katana. They start going katana for claws, man. These boys is boxing. If seven year old me was watching this right now, he'd start crying. Because 20 year old me is watching this right now and crying. This shit really <laughs> peak, man. Deadpool and Wolverine flash though. But Wolverine hits Wade with this nasty ass fake out. It looked like he was finna stab him with the claws again. He just retracted that hole and punched the piss out of dog. Just to get this nasty ass five piece combo off on dog. Wade took that shit personally though and stabbed bro right in his arm. Went around his ass, cut him in the back. Wolverine got pissed. He just started swinging aimlessly. And Deadpool took advantage of that. Dodge that swipe and stab bro right in his goddamn Adam's apple. Why these boys fighting like they hate each other? They just met each other three minutes ago. Beef is not this serious, I promise you. Wade got his goddamn sword stuck in his Adam's apple though and tried to cut his ass with the other one. But Logan parried that hoe and he tried to get these nasty ass combo off on Wade, but nah. Dog unlocked Ultra Instinct for a smooth five seconds and weaved each and every single one of his claw attacks. Wolverine said, damn, this not working. So he goes low and scratches Wade's shin a little bit. And then Deadpool hits bro with the, I don't even know what to call it. This goddamn Cyclone sword attack. But Wolverine parried all of them hoes just for the camera to start zooming out and we just see them boxing crazy style. I mean, they is really throwing hands for real. Cinema. But Deadpool gets behind Logan and he stabs his ass right in the back. But he gets his sword stuck in this nigga's entire chest cavity. He dodges this two piece from Logan and then he stabs him in the abdomen, getting his other sword stuck in this nigga's stomach. And Wolverine, angry ass, still fighting. Nigga, take the swords out of your body, please. But Logan almost cut mm -hmm. this nigga Deadpool's head off with this slash, but bro, dodge out the way and hit him with these two clean ass kicks right to the jaw. He then pulls out baby knife. Deadpool was just too damn clean with, uh, man, the, the fighting scenes were so cinema in this movie, bro. Golly. Knight stabs him in the shoulder and then Wolverine's like, all right, that's enough little nigga and headbutts the piss out of him. Deadpool starts to get up from having CT directly infused into his brain, but Wolverine <laughs> stabs bro right in the chest and was finna cut his head off. But Deadpool's ass starts telling Wolverine he can fix it. This nigga lying. But the it being taking Wolverine back to his universe, but not only that. Bro, I don't, I don't care what the context is, but anytime it is you do one of these, Bro, I promise you, I'm dying laughing, bro. This is like, get a load of this guy. <laughs> fixing the mistakes he made along the way. But in the distance arrived a bunch of old Marvel movie vehicles pre-Iron Man 1. But not only that, a nigga jumped down from the Raptors like goddamn Sting. And it's Johnny Storm. I'm telling you, man, my entire theater erupted when we saw- Hey, I, I ain't gonna lie. When I was in the theater, something, man. Man, some somebody said Captain America, bro. I, I started crying. And just, I'm just like, hey, listen, gang. No, 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 no. That's that's not the right, that's not the right character. That's, that's not the right one. I get where I get where <laughs> someone in the theater literally said, it's Captain America. Bro, I was dying laughing. Saw this nigga, bro. And who pulled up on them hoopties was goddamn Pyro from the X Men movies? But Johnny Storm says flame on, flies up in the air, tries to boom Pyro of all people with fire, and he just absorbs that shit as Johnny Storm's stupid ass just falls to the ground. But not only that, damn. goddamn Saber. Damn. Damn. <laughs> goddamn. Tooth pulls up. And Wolverine saw Saber Tooth, and you already knew it was on site. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought these boys was gonna have a good ass little squabble. They did not, cause Wolverine and Saber 2 start running at each other full force and Wolverine just cut that nigga head off. That's it, that was the end of the fight. But Pyro did not care about anything that just happened. He pulled out this super ass magnet and magnetized Logan and way to that hole. As a big ass safety leg knocked them niggas down. There was way too many like scenes within this movie that I'm just like, I. Right. what's going on here? Like. The, 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 the dynamic itself was just like, you know what I mean? It was like these. You know what I'm saying? But it was really like these. <laughs> 
It was really like it was really like these the entire movie. It's like, all right, we get it. We get it. The hell out. But Pyro doesn't capture Johnny too. And when Deadpool wakes up, Johnny starts explaining what goes on in the void. And that the void is basically just some big ass dumpster. And Eliath is the garbage man that comes and eats up all the trash. But they finally get dropped off to where they supposed to go. And some bald nigga in a wheelchair start coming out Ant-Man's big ass head. And hey, listen, a relation a relationship is an understatement. The, at, 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 at like any given moment, it is they could literally start scissoring in the movie. <laughs> Oh my god no i got tears i got tears i got tears why did i say that why did i say that? <laughs> charles, and i'm not gonna lie thinking every bald person in a wheelchair is charles xavier is kind of crazy like what's going on with you for real that's got to be some type of ist but i don't know which one but there's probably one out there for the bald people but this is cassandra nova and all i gotta say is would <clears throat> i put a plunger on the back of her shit start going crazy but that's besides the point but cassandra gets there she starts chatting it up with wade and wolverine and then deadpool starts lying on johnny's top and what deadpool said johnny said about cassandra i cannot put into words so i'm just gonna play the voice clip for y'all like you said in the convoy this finger licking dead inside pixie slab of third rate dime store nut milk can eat your delicious cinnamon ring and kick rocks all the way to bald al okay. And then Cassandra oh Nova just sucks this nigga Johnny's skin off. I need that. But not in the way she just did to Johnny. Turn that nigga into meat and bones on the ground. What the hell? And this is all Deadpool fault. Bro just got him killed. But after she just completely massacred my boy Johnny like that, she starts chatting with Wolverine away again. But Wolverine's like, what am I doing listening to her? If I don't do that, I punch niggas in the mouth. So he pulls up on Shorty just to get pulled into the ground and drug across that bitch. She then Wait, starts pulling up on him. Deadpool, and Deadpool's like, hold on a second there, Playboy, I do not want any problems with your ass. But Cassandra don't care about anything Wade got going on. She pulls up behind his ass and puts her hands through this nigga's face and start tickling little bro's brain like, what is going on? She starts scrubbing through Wade's memory files, making Vanessa say things she ain't never said to Wade. So after getting mentally violated the way he did, Deadpool pulls out his knife, and he's ready to run the hands with Cassandra now. But she's like, you gonna need something a little bit bigger than that, and then Wolverine pulls up behind her and stabs her right in the back. And just for the shits and giggles, he throws his knife directly into Cassandra Nova's chest. But her ass starts giggling, pushes Wolverine and Deadpool's knife out of her body. As Elias starts pulling up and Deadpool and Wolverine like, damn, this is crazy. We got a blast. As they hop on the city leg and fly up out of there before Elias can get them. But once Deadpool and Wolverine make it out of there, they find this torn down ass shop trying to get some vittles. But Wolverine's ass was not looking for food. He needed alcohol and he couldn't find any. So you know what this nigga started drinking? Actual rubbing alcohol. Oh. Like you have a problem, dog. Wait Bro. and Logan dip up out of that restaurant Bro. today. Run into dog pulling. I'm not gonna lie. You need to get this nasty ass dog out of my face right now. Bro, look like he drink out of a septic tank. This nigga is nasty looking. Not but following dog pool is Nice Pool, and that's the owner of Dog Pool. And Nice Pool, being the nice guy he is, gives Logan and Wade a car and tells them to head north. Go on the way to the base to where everyone else they got dropped up in the void is at. And Deadpool is over here pissing Logan the hell off. Right until Logan snaps and he just breaks down Deadpool's entire character. Actually shut this nigga the hell up for once. But that whole comment pissed Deadpool off, and he's like, I'm gonna punch you now as he clocks Wolverine right in the mouth. And oh boy, these boys Again. stop boxing. Again. They is throwing the craziest hands up imaginable oh. in the oh. all ass car until Deadpool kicks Wolverine out of the front window. And these niggas is just too violent, man. Beating the absolute dog piss out of each other. Getting all this pitch up aggression and rage out of their system. They was beating each other's ass so hard in this car and then switch to the next damn day. But their car at this rate they might as well just go ahead and just you know i don't want to say i don't want to say uh the, you know an f word because it is i'd be a little too vulgar but you know what it is that i mean they, they might as well just go, go ahead and start taking each other's clothes off and then get right at it bro i you can't sit you can't sit there and say his that come on the, the the amount of they did in just in violence i'm telling you bro that Tension was thick, bro. Even if you didn't even watch the movie, 
you could look at that and be like, is there something going on between these two? <laughs> like that tension was, bro, that sexual tension was high. Jesus. Are found and driven off to where they were going in the first See, place. Thank you, and Jedi. Wakes up and of course, the first thing this nigga Logan doing in the morning is drinking alcohol. But then someone comes through the door and it's Electra. It's Electra from the damn Daredevil movie. What the hell? And then Blaze, big black ass, comes through the door next. Oh yeah, this is the greatest movie of all time. Not only that. Nigga, we see Channing wow. Tatum Gambit. And then finally, we see X-23, Laura from the Logan movie. But Deadpool starts trying to get these niggas on the same team so they can form a plan and get out of there because him and Logan been in Cassandra's lair and they made it out. While them other niggas is like, wow, that's crazy because everybody else that went there, them is gone. But Wade rallies everybody together and y'all, I just got to play this clip for y'all. I ain't know my daddy, but I'm sure I shot out of his dick then. Jesus. Christ, that is graphic. Why did this nigga say that? But now we got every. I forgot that he said that. <laughs> Yo, this is so, so wild, bro. It's like, why would you say this? Just so abruptly like this. Golly. Everybody on board except for Logan. So his ass leaves the house and starts drinking his sorrows away. While Laura pulls up on dog and they start having to talk all father and daughter style. But the day passes, and I'm not gonna lie, this probably got really one job. of the hardest squads all time. Deadpool, Gambit, Electra, and Blade with Laura and X-23 chilling too? Like, who really messing with these boys for real? But Blade pops up out of the sunroof and blows a big ass hole through Ant-Man's big ass hands. As they pull up and y'all already know, man, I'm just finna play the clip. You know how long I've been waiting for this? Woo, I'm about to make a name for myself, yeah. Channing Tatum was having so much fun playing Gambit, bro. I need to see this nigga What's be up, Gambit Jay? more. Because everything, bro, nah, sounds facts. hilarious. But now he got... Nah, facts, facts. He need to play Gambit more. He needs to play Gambit more. He he did a really good job with this this role. And I... and I, Right now, I was also shocked as well. I'm like, okay. At first, I was a little skeptical. I was a little skeptical at first. I'm just like, is he going to pull this off? But... Man, he man, he did a really good job. Surprised the hell out of me, you know. So I'm doing great. Love just chilling. How you been doing? How's the Sea World? Hey, listen, just trying to keep everything all under wraps, you know. The whole squad out. Everyone besides Logan and Wade start hooping. I mean, these boys are absolutely boxing. While Logan and Wade pull up on Cassandra Noble, wait for them to deliver Juggernaut's helmet. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be talking about Gambit a lot, bro. Cause they did this nigga damn near perfect in this movie. To the power yeah, very of the costume, yeah, man. They hit that shit out of the park. But Wade and Logan finally make it inside Ant-Man's head. We see gang pull up, stopping anybody else from going in there. And hold on a second, I got something for y'all. <laughs> Some motherfuckers still trying to ice skate up here. Yeah, that's why I played the GOAT for real. Exactly. So Wade and Logan finally get to Cassandra Nova. And Wade's like, look, man, I just want to go home. Cassandra just whimsically violates Wade. I mean, she just pointed at bro, threw his ass up in the air, dropped him in the ground, spun him around a little bit, and then throw his ass to the side. If that was me, I might have given up after that because that's crazy. Wolverine was right next to Dog watching it happen like, whoa, that's a, that's crazy. And he then tried to boom Cassandra, but she just made him stab himself with his claws and then she stuck them holes in the ground. Bro, she, orchest she orchestrated that shit so funny too. Just, and down, and then get him out of here. Ooh, Darth Venom, thank you so much for the two months. What's good, gang? How are you? Hopefully everything's going good. Thank you for that. You know, that'd be Gambit and Blade is over here cooking these no, I, boys. And I ain't gonna lie, I just now peeped that he was boxing Mephisto. I'm pretty sure. At least that nigga looks like him. But so is Gambit. He over here sticking his rod in niggas, making them explode. And Laura done cut Juggernaut's ankles in half. But we go back to Cassandra and Logan. And she over here inserting her finger in this nigga brain. We all know she don't give consent to nobody before she start violating the memories. But her ass is over here digging deep into Logan's memories. Having Logan tell Cassandra exactly what it is he did to make everyone hate him in his universe and not only did he get his x-men killed for not being there this nigga just went on a murderous rampage killing everybody the bad humans and the good ones and she's over here like hey man i can make the voices stop if you come join me but laura then threw her backpack up there and deadpool got it right before loki could say or do anything my main man Wade Wilson puts Jug's helmet on her chrome dome, stopping her powers from working completely. But as his helmet Damn. is on her head, Wolverine starts telling her, hey, 
send us the hell back home. But she's like, I can't send you home with this helmet on my head, stupid. But right before they can make a decision to take her helmet off, Pyro's bitch ass pulls up and he just dumps four on her ass. Then his ass starts monologuing, but Wolverine cuts his ass the hell off by drawing the mess out of him. But Wolverine tells Wade to take the helmet off. And Cassandra pulls out a Doctor Strange ring and she makes a portal for them to dip. And as Deadpool and Wolverine are dipping out of there, we see Laura, Gambit, Elektra, and Blade just getting cooked and violated as a life pulls up, assumedly packing those boys up. Once Deadpool and Wade get to Wade's dimension, Paradox pulls up and is like, what are y'all doing here? Y'all supposed to be dead. You're ruining my plans. But mm -hmm. Cassandra Nova pulls up too, and with Pyro, because Pyro done told her exactly what's been going on, the fact that he's been running deals with Paradox and the whole time for her business as well. So you know, as soon as she got to Wade's universe, she broke this nigga neck and tossed his ass back to the void like the piece yeah. of trash he is. But then after that, she starts tickling Paradox's brain, learning everything about the Time Ripper. And as Logan and Wade were on their way to stop her, she just blows them boys back. And then she drags Paradox back down to the GTA so she can get to the Time Ripper. And not only that, she opens up a portal and she's like, reinforcements on the way, but first comes out to bat is this nasty yuck mouth ass dog P U <laughs> and what quickly follows after is Nice Pool and not only Nice Pool we see about 14 dozen other Deadpool variants and Lady Pool looking kind of <laughs> you know what I'm saying bro. but all the Deadpool stuff all right all right all right in the theater they was going nuts for this too it's like all right calm down busting shots at Deadpool and you know what way he does he uses Nice Pool as a shield to not get hit by any of the bullets Deadpool then asks him how long it takes him to regenerate and Nice Pool's like regenerate I can't do that big dog and this evil ass nigga Deadpool just starts staring at Nightpool. There is no nice thoughts going through his head right now. As he gets back up and uses him as a meat shield to go to the other side of the street. And then he stops in the middle, starts gaslighting the hell out of Nightpool until a dog gets his head blown off. And then he finishes running to the other side of the street. This is one evil ass nigga, man. Wolverine follows after, but he just uses dog pool as a meat shield. And every single Deadpool ever shares the same singular brain cell. Because they all stop firing as soon as they see dog pool. Wolf hey. gets to that side of the street. And Deadpool hey. already done robbed Nice Pool of his golden 50 cal pistols. This nigga is terrible. But Deadpool and Wolverine both get to the middle of the street and they stand 10 toes in front of 40, 11,000 Deadpools. And for the first time in X-Men live action movie history, we see this nigga Wolverine put on his cow. Yeah, man, this shit means something to me, man. Like, golly, yep. that jaw yep. looks amazing too. Yep. Like, why was it holding Cinema. out for so long? But Peak. we all know it's Cinema. gonna happen. Deadpool and Wolverine ready up and they starve. Boxing. I'm talking about Mika, 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 all in the street. So much is going on. I don't think I can commentate each and every hand mid squabble going on. But just know the Deadpool don't got enough smoke for Logan and Wade because they are absolutely violating these boys. Over here doing these boys dirty like they was doing them kids dirty and it's always sunny. And none of these Deadpools got enough smoke for Deadpool Prime and Wolverine until Super Sentai Deadpool pushes Wade and Logan back. And then the rest of the Deadpools just start ganging up on them. But if y'all thought that that was going to be enough to stop Wade and Logan, y'all got another thing coming to y'all because you know? they just start cartooning, so pushing these niggas back while slicing and dicing these boys in half. They over here boxing these boys so hard, pushing them all the way back until they get to the bus, and they are just clearing out this bus with clutching every single Deadpool with maximum efficiency. They is absolutely cooking these niggas the until they what? hop out of the bus and pause. This probably somebody's... I gotta do one of these. I gotta do one of these. You can't tell me it is this ain't hard, bro. You can't tell me it is this ain't tough. The cinema. Peak. 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 I need to clean. <laughs> right? Screensaver right now as we speak. But oh, nah. Nice pull was the only Deadpool that couldn't regenerate. These other niggas most definitely can. And they all get up, getting ready to run the smoke one more time. But out of the goddamn cut comes Peter. And every single Deadpool has a Peter. So they see Peter and they're like, you know what, Wade and Logan? Y'all got it, big dogs. My fault. And just like that, they won. 
So now Wade and Logan pull up inside the TVA and Cassandra Nova's over here absorbing the Time Ripper. And Paradox said if she finishes what she is doing, she will have the power to destroy every universe ever. But in order to stop it, one of them has to give up their life. Because although Wolverine and Deadpool might be invincible, this tears them down on a dark matter level and they can't come back from that. So Wolverine mm -hmm. decides to go and Wade's like, damn, that's crazy, can't let that happen. Hits his ass inside the head with a fire extinguisher and goes by himself. Cause this is his purpose. This is how he thinks he can matter. So Deadpool goes inside that room and tries to connect these cores to stop Cassandra from absorbing the Time Ripper. His ass is over here struggling. He ain't finna make it to that other coil before Cassandra absorbs the full ass thing. But just in the nick of time, my goat Wolverine pulls up, grabs Wade's hands, and connects to the other coil. And the you said th this this right here. This, this right here did something to you? Is, 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 is this, like, you know what I'm saying? Chat, are y'all locked in? Are y'all locked in right now? Are y'all locked in? <clears throat> this scene, <laughs> I was going crazy. <laughs> I gotta ask this question if it is you locked in, chat. You know, I gotta, I just gotta ask the question. You know what I'm saying? Nope, not at all. Okay, bro. Other coil and the power of friendship went the day. I need him for real. Cassandra <laughs> as geeking, but they foiled Cassandra's plans, stripping the Tom Ripper away from her ass. Hey, blew her ass to smithereens. And that's really the end of the movie, man. Logan helped Wade save his universe while Wade asked him if he could come and stay in his universe. And not only that, they saved Laura, so now Logan and Laura could be happy in Wade's universe. But that's really the video, man. If you're ever in a predicament where you gotta fight 14 other variants of yourself, make sure you come out on top, or else you're not like that for real. But other than that, if you like, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get up out of here. Bye. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I just had to go ahead and just make sure it is y'all were locked in. That nothing too crazy. <laughs> but cool uno underscore nine. Shout outs to you. Thank you so much for the video. Shout outs to y'all in the chat. You're nasty. And shout outs to you at home. I will catch y'all in the next video.